Hello and welcome to this series of videos on producing and recording vocals in Reason. Working with vocals is one of the most important things that you'll ever have to do when you're making music. Uh, a good vocal performance can really make or break a track and uh, vocal hooks, vocal production and the techniques that you use to get a good vocal are all really, really important things to know about. And if you've spent a lot of time in Reason programming MIDI and kind of working with bits of guitar or bass, uh, those are certain sets of skills required to do those, but there are a slightly different set of skills required to capture and mix and produce a good vocal. They're not a world away, but uh, Reason has some specific tools and techniques that you can use to, uh, to help everything go smoothly. So what we're going to be looking at, amongst other things, is how to set Reason up for recording, how to set levels and check levels and check your signal path, um, how to record into an audio track, how to edit vocals, uh, using Reason's many excellent effects on vocals specifically, how you would use reverbs, delays, compression to get a good vocal sound. And then some more unusual stuff uh, like vocoding. Of course, Reason's had a vocoder for a long time. It's got pitch correction, uh, which is incredibly useful, which you can use for everything from simple correction of, of little out of tune sections to full robotic effects if that's your kind of thing. And Reason of course does uh, sampling so you can export and chop up your vocals and use them in different ways rather than just being regular vocal tracks. You can turn them into stutters, you can pitch shift them up and down, you can time stretch them. There's all manner of things you can do uh, with vocals in Reason. So with that in mind let's uh, get on with it and start to have a look at how you would go about setting up your system to record vocals. <laughs> 